Greetings to our youth and young adults. I hope you are staying safe and doing well. I want to thank especially and let you know that we're praying especially for uh, those of you that are on the front lines. I know we have uh, many uh, nurses, some of you working at department stores, grocery stores, and I hope both youth and young adults, if you have relatives uh, that are on the front lines uh, in this time, that you are thanking them, that you are praying for them, and letting them know uh, how much you appreciate uh, their service and whatever they do. I want to read you a short passage from Matthew 21. We are approaching um, the Palm Sunday on this Sunday, and then, of course, Easter next Sunday. And so this passage from Matthew 21, verses 1 through 11, is commonly read for Palm Sunday, and we'll have a quick devotional thought after that. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there, with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. One of the things that is comforting to me about this passage is uh, it, it always gives me a sense of Jesus being the Son of God. And that is because he does things very differently than an average or normal human would do. I think most of us, if we had the, the kind of power uh, that Jesus had, would want everybody, uh, make sure everybody knew our name, Right, And we get to the end of this passage, and the crowds and some of the people in Jerusalem say, Who is this? So we know there are some people out there that didn't quite uh, know who Jesus was just yet. And he also comes into town on a donkey, which would not have been something you did if you were someone who was important and had a lot of power. Uh, Jesus did things very differently, uh, a lot of times very humbly, uh, instead of showing his might and power like you might have seen Caesar or other emperors and kings of that day. And so while this is comforting to me, it's also why a lot of people uh, maybe missed out on who Jesus was, right? They were looking for one thing, and Jesus did not fulfill the expectations that they had. He was the Son of God, but he uh, walked humbly and served others. And so this unexpected Son of God wasn't always what other people uh, were thinking the Messiah would be. And so as you think about that and kind of dwell on that throughout the week this week as we approach Palm Sunday, I also want to ask you, uh, if you're a part of our uh, Church Remind app and uh, text there, or uh, I know most of you, if not all of you, have my email address. If you will send me a text or an email and let me know what has been an unexpected blessing uh, in these tough times. I know it's easy to turn on the news or it's easy to think about all the things that we are missing out on. But if you will send me a message and tell me what's something that you are uh, maybe surprised by that you were not expecting that has been a blessing. Uh, please know that uh, we at the church continue to pray for you. Let us know if there's anything that you need. And as always, stay healthy, and I wish you peace.